Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and this is a uh, quick uh, questions and answer for uh, some of you out there that are asking me questions about the future browser that Microsoft is going to actually introduce in one month from now, pretty much less than one month. On January 15th, uh, we will have the Microsoft Edge browser, uh, the new one, the Chromium version or what some people like to, law, to call Credge. So, of course, that means that the uh, old Microsoft Edge browser is going to be thing of the past, but they can't get rid of it totally because some features and some things that are in there uh, will have to stay a little bit. So what Microsoft is doing slowly is making sure that in our Windows versions, the old Edge isn't really visible. So, you know, when you click the the start menu or anything it doesn't really uh, kind of you know we don't we don't really see that there's a an old edge browser in there the new browsers are still being tested right now so what you see here this one is the uh, developer one uh, here we have the uh, canary one all of that of course will be merged into one big version uh, so the questions are uh, will this be compatible with uh, chrome extensions is the big question um, it's not clear that the Chrome extensions directly will be there. Um, <clears throat> Microsoft yesterday issued a, um, a message to, um, everybody that, uh, to the de developers of, uh, ex extensions saying, you know, if you want to submit your extension for it to be converted to Chromium, that kind of tells us that maybe it's not exactly you go to the Chrome store and get an extension, but more like you're going to get a um, Edge Chromium variant of that extension. So I don't know exactly, you know, at the beginning, the first um, weeks when Edge Chromium was introduced, they were saying, well, you know, the uh, Chromium extension will work. It's not that clear, actually. It's kind of, well, the Chromium extensions that are converted or a little different. So, um, you know, a lot of you, that's what you want for sure. Uh, yeah, it, will there be things like set aside tabs? It's a surprising amount of people that use Edge actually did like the set tabs aside feature. Well, no, it's not there. And it's not there, but it's kind of replaced by a thing called um, collections. So it's that here on the upper right, you'll have this little icon that when you click on it, you can have collections of websites that show up that you can actually create. Um, what's the difference with collections? Then set tabs aside. Set tabs aside actually was a temporary thing. Once you were used and once you had checked the tabs, they would s disappear. Here, this is a more permanent thing that you have to manually erase if you don't want them anymore. Um, what's the difference between set tabs aside and maybe the, you know, favorites that you can make a folder with? Well, I think collections is nicer than favorites with, you know, the different websites that you can actually have in the different folders. It's actually a more beautiful experience. Now, there will be some missing things at the beginning and even throughout. Uh, there's a lot of uh, the features that were native from, um, you know, Microsoft Edge that are missing. And we know that the browser is going to be incomplete at the start January 15th. And this tells us one thing. Remember, let's go back five years, four years and a half. When Windows 10 was released, Microsoft Edge was released. It was really, really basic and unfinished. Kind of reminds us of that. It's, it seems that Microsoft is not learning from its past mistakes. But apart from that, what would be the advantage of using the Edge Chromium browser? Well, there's a uh, talk about more control over tracking and privacy uh, than the regular Google Chrome browser will actually give you. So that is one of the things. But then again, you know, it's, of course, everybody tracks and and that means microsoft might want and might track in, in its in its own way if you want the um, battery life is 
there was a really promise that there was even improved battery life. Actually, it is such an improvement that uh, even Google, actually, with uh, collaboration with Microsoft, actually started doing some changes within the Google Chrome browser to improve the battery life based on how Microsoft does it. So it gives you an idea that it must be not too bad as uh, Google actually is even looking into that. But uh, overall, yes, this is coming January 15th and uh, we will have all of this um, available and of course as it's uh, being released next month we'll talk more about it. Um, right now you can still get it by going to the uh, Edge Insider webpage. You can get the beta, the Canary or the developer. What's the difference? The Canary is updated daily. The uh, developer is once a week. The beta version is updated every six weeks. So it's probably the one that the least amount of problems. And uh, we'll see as time goes by if that is uh, something or, you know, a um, browser of choice. Uh, it will, of course, and does accept the, um, you know, settings and the um, bookmarks or favorites from other browsers. And uh, it does sync between the browsers, but it's still not syncing everything. It syncs a certain amount of data between the browsers. So if you have it installed on multiple Windows 10 machines. And once again, yes, Windows 7 has a version, Windows, which is funny because Windows 7 is end of life. Windows 8 has a version, Windows 8.1. You can get uh, Edge Chromium. Of course, version uh, there's a version for Windows 10. There's a version for Mac OS, and now we know that a Linux version is coming, so um, there will be Edge Chromium everywhere, but will it actually catch on? That's another story. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.